it's a rainy day inside my business manager. It's sad, it's really sad. Today I'm doing a different type of video. I'm gonna take you with me and I'm gonna show you a day of a Facebook ads marketer slash a person who runs an agency. I'm gonna give it to you the way it is so you don't have some wrong ideas about it. Usually the first thing I do when I get here, when I come to my office, I make myself a cup of coffee or I buy myself a cup of coffee. So there is a, a bunch of trash because I have this apartment that I use as an office. As you can see, I have a bunch of different YouTube gear, my backpack over there. I have my working area number one. It's right by the window. And if I take you in the, in the other room, you're gonna see this. This is my working area. This is I make where I make my videos. This is where I take calls with clients or my team. So this is how it looks like. It's a really small place, but I actually quite like it because it allows me flexibility. So the most important thing for every, pretty much every person who does marketing, let me remove the camera, is the coffee. I have my cup of coffee right here. And the very first thing I do, to be honest with you, I like checking on my campaigns. Before checking on my campaigns, what, what, I'm, what I'm doing recently is just I'm going on Reddit and I'm reading because right now there is a lot of troubles with the algorithms. So I want to see how other people are doing on Reddit. I want to see if, I, if I'm missing on something. So I'm going to start from there. I'm going to open Facebook ads, Reddit, and maybe I can flip the camera and I can show you what's happening on Reddit. This won't be professional at all, but I don't really care. So the first thing that we can see, can we see some people complaining? Facebook ads, 150 plus CPM skincare. So I just want to keep myself up to date with Facebook ads. And I believe that Reddit is one of the best places to go. So I choose the new posts, the top posts from today. And I'm just going to take a look what's happening. As you can see, it's still loading. Probably Reddit is slow. So I'm doing this because there is something wrong with Facebook ads. I made a lot of video uh, on Facebook ads. Something being wrong, the CPM being too high. A lot of people struggling, a lot of people getting fake traffic. So what I like doing is just like checking on Reddit, see if I'm missing on something. So this is how, how I would do it. A lot of people say they found a solution. Other people say they still have issues with Facebook ads. Um, but this is what but this is what I do. The first thing while I'm drinking my coffee, as you can see, I have a pretty nice, pretty nice view. So this is the view. I have my cup of coffee here. I live in Bulgaria and in Bulgaria we drink espresso. So any of that latte, ice latte, milky coffee is not very, very popular here. But this is the reality. So while drinking my coffee, I'll check Reddit real quick. And the next thing um, I'm doing right now, I'm reading a book. The book is actually called Spin Selling. And if you follow any of these um, sales gurus right now, because selling is like very, very popular. A lot of people are trying to close the sale on the phone. So a lot of people are trying to just close a high ticket sale. And the most popular uh, sales system in the world right now is spin selling. A lot of people are basing their new approaches to selling uh, based on this book, Spin Select, for example, if you follow Jeremy Miner, if you follow, I think, Russ Rufino is using, using it, I think Sam Owens and Alex Becker uh, also used to use it. So what I like doing when I'm not extremely busy, I like dedicating 30 to 40 minutes of my day to reading a book. 
honestly, the last few months were extremely busy. So maybe the last three, four weeks, I didn't have any time to read because uh, I'm doing two campaigns right now. I'm working with clients. I'm building two funnels on my own. I'm building a lot of campaigns for, for clients. And I also had a newborn, which is, I'm very, very happy, but it also takes uh, a lot of time of my day. Um, sleep is more challenging, but of course, if you, if you have a kid, you'll know that the happiness is much harder than any of the stressful situations or the lack of sleep. It's just like the best thing that ever, ever happened to me. So this is the reality. Uh, right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish my coffee. Um, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna read a little bit of the spin selling book I told you about. Usually when I'm done reading. I check my Facebook ads accounts. Right now, the situation is not that great. It's sad for a lot of people because the algorithm is not targeting properly. There is something wrong with Facebook. If you're running Facebook ads, you should know that Facebook ads are not consistent, consistent at all. I've tried Google ads, I've tried YouTube ads. They're good option, good alternative to Facebook ads, but in my experience for the products I worked on, Facebook ads are still the best. So we could say that Facebook ads are one of the worst advertising platform, but there is nothing better out there right now. And this is just the reality. So I usually take a lot of time into checking the ad accounts, figuring out what to improve. So I'm going to quickly take you inside some of my ad accounts. So usually yesterday was not the best day on the platform. Uh, I think this ad account got only two purchases. Um, the two purchases we got are worth for the business around $400. But yesterday we spent close to, actually we spent $460. So. It's not that bad because we have a back end, but usually when I run this campaign in September and October, I was able to make profit on the front end and on the back end, we also made uh, profit. So actually yesterday we completed two purchases, but let me check. And 16 people uh, completed the checkout. So they went to the checkout page and once people go to the checkout page, we grab their emails and we put them in an automation about uh, cart abandonment. So it could be a good day if we give it uh, a little bit uh, more time. So I'm just gonna open our email provider and I'm gonna see what's happening. So let's see how many of those two sales actually um, actually completed purchases so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten people actually uh completed our initiate checkout page so we have their uh, names and emails then those people will be uh put into a card abandonment campaign, they're gonna receive five to six emails stressing on the urgency. So let's see uh, if those people convert. Uh, when it comes to this campaign, I know it might seem like it's losing money, uh, but I'm gonna leave it running for a few more days. Yeah, so this month um, we spent one, 1,000 and close to $1,367 um, dollars. We made five sales. So five sales are worth to us, um, I'll say 
let's say roughly one thousand dollars but later on these people will come into a high ticket automation so we generated 30 leads oh, i'm not sure i'm still not convinced if this um, low ticket model makes sense for everybody because right now i know a lot of people are preaching the low ticket offer build low ticket offers but i'm not 100 percent convinced that this is something that will work for everybody if i'm just starting out i'm gonna start with the backend funnel but i made a mistake so i'm building two low ticket funnels right now i built this year uh, for my own business i'll be building three low ticket funnels i completed two low ticket funnels already and i'm gonna building and i'm gonna be building another uh, low ticket funnel later the last year i built for my own business i built two high ticket funnels and high ticket is like much easier much much easier the thing that sucks about high ticket funnels is that you need to go on sales calls right this is the thing you need to do this is the thing that sucks about um sales sales funnels uh high ticket sales funnels you can sell 2k product out of a webinar it's not that it won't be that difficult however um there is just a lot of a lot of time and effort that goes into those uh high ticket sales so i'm gonna be honest with you as a marketer i know how to make a low ticket funnel i know how to make a high ticket funnel my high ticket funnels were actually quite successful because i was getting a cost per book code for around 50 dollars i know if somebody who is watching this video if they hear that they'll be like oh that's amazing so this is what i did but i was like no i don't want to go on sales calls i just want to have money rolling in that's why i went into the low ticket funnel hell because there you need to be extremely good with like every word you say you need to be extremely good with every product you make it needs to be very very strategic i don't say it's not impossible, uh, but it definitely is harder than a high ticket funnel because it has a lot more elements to it. It has a lot more products. You need a front end product, you need a back end product, you need a order bump, you need a upsell, downsell. So maybe you need three to five products to make a decent low ticket funnel. Developing these products uh, take a lot of time. So let's see where it's going to take me, where this journey is going to take me. But for now, this is my, this is what, this is my reality. Uh, this is what I, uh, I decide to work on. So I'm going to master both. I'm going to master sales. Uh, I'm going to do the YouTube. I'm going to do the agency. To be honest with you, to make this thing happen, um, I work all the time. I work every day and I work every day because when I do creative work, my creative work will be maybe like four to six hours per day, really deep focus work. If I'm writing sales copy, if I'm creating products, if I'm working on YouTube videos, if I'm just trying to, if I'm just trying to brainstorm ideas, it's taking me my best effort so i need fresh mind i need to be really focused so i cannot work 12 hours on like building a sales funnel and also what's challenging for me i'm not working in my native language right if i was working in my native language i'd be like pumping videos like crazy but as you can see i'm recording these videos and i'm struggling uh, but this is the reality so right now i'll start uh, working on some campaigns. I'm gonna be checking my stats. Um, I'm gonna take you with me and I'm gonna show you uh, how this looks like. I finished my coffee. I usually, when I finish my coffee, I make another coffee. So my coffee allowance is three espressos per day, although I know I should keep those espressos around two. It's too much, but you know, you can call me crazy, you can call me... I don't think it's that much because coffee helps me work. However, it's not that healthy. 
we all know that caffeine cannot be that healthy. And this is like one of my guilty pleasures, just coffee. So this was the first section of the day. I did some reading. I did check on a few ad accounts. Now I'm gonna make another coffee. I'm gonna continue working on my ad accounts. I'm gonna see what can I can improve. Uh, I'm gonna launch a new campaign. Uh, and this will be the first chunk of my day. Maybe right now it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna work around on this up one o'clock um, and then I'll see. And then I have a plan that I'm gonna work on some stuff I'm gonna show you. It's actually pretty interesting, but for now, let's have another coffee and let's do some Facebook ads campaign management, yeah? And right now we have, yeah, we have coffee time, a favorite part of the day. So we're gonna wait for the espresso machine to warm up. I know that the Dolce Gusto is not very eco-friendly, but it's the easiest to clean. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna press the button and we're gonna wait a little bit for the coffee to flow. But without coffee, marketing is impossible. Mission impossible, right? The mission is really, really impossible. So what I'm gonna do, you see now, I'm, you, you won't be able to see it. We're starting the espresso machine. And of course, I'm gonna add some milk. A way to, whoop, I'm adding some milk. Sometimes I drink it with milk, sometimes I drink it without milk. It depends on the mood, but once I get my espresso, so it's gonna be this really cinematic shot, me walking to my computer, right? Once I get my espresso, I'm going to get back to work, right? Now let's check some Facebook ads campaigns, yo. Let's do that. What do you do when campaigns are not working? When you do Facebook ads marketing and campaigns are not working? This happens quite often. I notice that whenever campaigns are not working, it highly affects my confidence and my well-being. I know it sounds sad, but if you're a media bar, if you have a, a if you have Facebook ads agency or any agency, or if you do media buying, you know what I'm talking about. When you have great results, your life is just so much better, so much better. And whenever Facebook is glitchy, you feel like your whole business or your whole, whole career is going to waste. I spend so much money on Facebook ads. A lot, I know a lot of people who build careers on Facebook ads. Most of my friends are actually doing Facebook ads. So I hope this situation gets resolved because if it doesn't we're in a very bad spot okay now i'm gonna go back to work Another thing I would like to mention, I'm not sure if this is gonna work for you, but right now, if you're struggling with Facebook yet, if you have the issue of the algorithm not targeting, if you have the issue of getting a lot of bot traffic, if you're not sure that real people are visiting your website, landing pages, funnels, etc., you can create an ad just targeting Instagram placement. Because I read somewhere on Reddit that if you target Instagram placement, you won't get that much of a fake traffic. So I did this in a campaign earlier and I managed to get purchases. Before that, I couldn't get any purchases. So the thing I did with this campaign, the improvement I did with this campaign, I have one campaign. In this campaign, I'm targeting 
just interests and the placement I'm using is Instagram. So I'm just targeting one placement, Instagram. And by Instagram, I mean Instagram feed, Instagram reels, Instagram stories. Oh, actually, I don't have Instagram reels. I turn off Instagram reels and I'm running just only one ad. I'm, I'm running my best ad and I'm also doing cost cap. The cost cap I set at around twice my cost per purchase I, I can afford. So right now, right now, what's happening? Um, just very manual type of campaign. So I duplicated the best two ads from this campaign in a new Advantage Plus shopping campaign. The budget for the Advantage Plus shopping campaign is $100 per day. But I also did the cost per result. I did the cost per result at 99. So I'm going to see how this will play out. But if you struggle to get good results with Facebook ads recently, just test this with a small budget, maybe set one campaign with five to 10 interest, just run one ad and the whole daily budget you could do. It also depends on your business, but 50 to 200. It is almost 1 p.m. I'm done working actually for right now. I'm gonna have some lunch. Then after I have some lunch, I'm gonna work on a application funnel. It's book a call funnel. So usually these types of funnels are easier to make. And I'm working on my VSL video sales presentation. With this funnel, I'll be selling a one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I'm gonna be selling the dumbest offer you can imagine. Because right now, if you if you go in the marketplace, a lot of people are like, this is the best way to get clients, implement this system to get clients. This is the new fancy things. But what I realize right now, what the market is missing, a lot of people already have built systems. A lot of people have decent funnels. Those funnels will work if they put a little bit more ad spend, if they maybe change a few headlines, maybe if they like reposition the offer, they, they'll be able to make it happen, but um, they're just not consistent enough. So they're not investing a lot of time into optimizing what they already have. A lot of people are just buying the next fancy things, the next fancy thing. That's why I'm doing a this type of offer. So, um, I'm not sure if it's going to work out. I'm not sure where I'll promote it, but usually when I do, when I work on new offers, if I just try to figure out everything at one session, I just tend to, I have the plan. I have the the end idea of this funnel, but I'm taking it one step at a time. For example, it will take me maybe like two, three weeks to build the funnel. Um, with this type of funnel, the hardest thing to create would be the VSL because I'm not great on camera. That's why I'm making this video. I want to become better on camera. Uh, but this is the thing that I, that I have for today. Uh, I'll just, I'll just get some lunch and I'm gonna go back to funnel building. So I'm gonna be working on the application funnel a little bit on my VSL funnel. And I have another low ticket funnel that I'm gonna tell you about once I go back from lunch. Of course, I'm gonna check on my ads. I checked on my ads like for the last three hours. So nothing's happening there. But we all know when you hit refresh on your Facebook ads business manager, you're just waiting for results to come, but results are not <laughs> coming that. So patience, patience. All right. Okay, so here's what I'm having for lunch. It's a pita bread, some high protein spread, spread cheese or whatever it's called, and some salmon. So it's like really simple meal. It comes at 646 calories. The fat is 21 grams, 43 grams of protein, and 67 grams of carbohydrates. This is what I, this is what I'm eating. 
while I'm eating this thing, I'll be watching some controversial YouTube videos as usual. Right now, the Christianity is very, very trendy. So they're like this guy, some shaman or shaman or whatever, and he is dismantling people who people who have different religions from Christianity. So I think it's like very controversial. It's fun to watch. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing and I'm getting back to work. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it's really a rainy day inside. It's cloudy. And it seems like it will always be cloudy, you know. And also, the worst thing that's happening here, it's cloudy within my Facebook ads account. For example, this campaign right here, let me make it brighter, spent $150 and it brought zero sales so far. And it is really, really bad. At least I have two add to cards. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this campaign working for a little while. I'm gonna give this campaign maybe a few more hours. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. And if nothing works with this campaign, I'm just gonna restart it and I'm gonna try to figure something else out. So for the day, I don't think I'll be taking a look at the Facebook ads stats again. Instead of that, I'll be, I'm working on something. Instead of that, I'm working on a funnel, right? I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I have this new funnel and this is a book funnel. It is to promote my business. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through the funnel uh, very, very quickly. So if I open the funnel dashboard uh, and this is it, the book funnel. This is what I'll be working on. The book funnel is the low ticket hill because it's really difficult to make a low ticket funnel work. So we have a sales page, we have a checkout page, then we're send sending people to an upsell page and then we're sending people to another upsell. It says down downsell, but it's a, it is another upsell. So here for this funnel, I'm gonna have uh, the first product is a book, it's called AI Courses, where I teach people how to get started with AI Courses. The second product is Create Your Own AI Course Challenge, it's gonna be six or seven day challenge. Then the third product would be My Targeting Academy. The book I'm gonna price it around three to five dollars. The upsell product will be 19 to 47 and the Targeting Academy will go from maybe somewhere from 97 to maybe 197. Maybe it's gonna be less, it's gonna be, I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure about this, uh, but this is what I'm working on. Uh, for all the pages, I need to write the copy, uh, I need to create the members area. So this is what I'm doing right now. I have my third coffee for the day. Uh, right now, I'm gonna flip the camera just let me flip the ca camera. Please have some patience because I need to. So yeah, the thing I'm gonna do now, um, I'm gonna work on my book funnel. I'm gonna work on my low ticket funnel. I'll be checking on my Facebook ads stats. But this is the reality. This is what you do as a Facebook ads marketer. I truly believe one of the most important things you could do would be to become a full stack marketer. What do I mean by full stack marketer? You need to understand the marketing strategy. You need to understand copywriting. You need to understand all of those little things so you're able to make your Facebook ads work because in many cases, the solution, the prob the, the solutions to the problems you have within your Facebook ads account are somewhere outside your Facebook ads business manager in fitness people say, apps are made in the kitchen, good Facebook ads, amazing Facebook ads, scalable Facebook ads are made outside the business manager. So this is a typical day for me. Usually it's a rainy day inside my 
business manager. It's sad. It's really sad. If you do media buying, if you do the agency thing, you have a lot of days like this. But at the end of the day, regardless of the stress, regardless of the struggles, regardless of the hustle, none of it matters, right? None of it matters. We were fine without Facebook ads. We'll be fine without Facebook ads. So at, at the end of the day, your family matters, your wife matters, your children matter, your mom matters. So this is how I would like to end this video. I would like to end this video with a positive note towards everybody who is struggling with Facebook ads right now. And this is the video for the day. Thank you for watching.